President Trump signed legislation that should make a lot of Hollywood people happy, but will they praise him for it? Don't count on it. I'll tell you all about it coming up today on The Hollywood Conservative for The Rebel. Hollywood, particularly the music industry, has a brand new and huge reason to show some gratitude for President Trump. Of course, they won't, even though the landmark legislation he signed yesterday will benefit them greatly. I doubt many of them will have anything nice to say about it. Actually, it would be very difficult for them to say anything negative about it since it benefits them directly. So I guess they will probably just remain silent. Instead of tweeting about how the president has put more of their well-earned money into their pockets, they will just find another reason to kick him because as Eric Holder instructed liberals to do, when we as conservatives go low, they should kick us, whatever. If you guys want to be bitter and angry all the time, go ahead. In the meantime, President Trump is signing bills into law, making American music great again. The legislation I am specifically talking about is called the Music Modernization Act and doggone, I wish Trump was president was when I was in the music industry because then maybe I would have been handsomely rewarded for all of the millions of times my music was streamed on Spotify and iHeartRadio and Apple Music. Maybe I can collect those royalties retroactively. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, the Music Modernization Act has been long anticipated. It reformats the compensation structure for recording artists and musicians to account for digital streaming. Speaking about the legislation today at the White House, President Trump said this. The Music Modernization Act closes loopholes in our digital royalty laws to ensure that songwriters, artists, and producers receive fair payment for licensing of music. I've been reading about this for many years and never thought I'd be involved in it, but I got involved in it. They were treated very unfairly. They're not going to be treated unfairly anymore. So in years past, musicians were making so little from music they published. That's why artists went on tour. Touring actually produced more revenue than making and selling the music itself, especially nowadays when people are not even buying physical CDs or records. They're not even buying music on iTunes anymore. They're using streaming services that cost, you know, eight to ten dollars a month for an unlimited library of music. The ceremony celebrating the landmark legislation was attended by industry executives and various recording art artists across all genres of music. Kid Rock, Beach Boy singer Michael Love, John Rich, and Doobie Brothers guitarist Skunk Baxter were all there in person to witness the signing of the legislation. Now, Billboard was the most Trump-friendly media outlet, imagine that, uh, that I could find, and they said this. Soul legend Sam Moore of Sam and Dave noted that the legislation has been long time coming. With Mr. Bush, we couldn't get it done. When Mr. Obama was in, we couldn't get it done, but we got it done with this man, said the soul man singer. Now, earlier today, Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn, she's in Tennessee, she fought very hard for this legislation, and she said this in a tweet. As co-founder of the House Songwriters Caucus, I've worked tirelessly on solutions to bring songwriters and producers a more fair way of being paid for their work in today's digital economy. Thrilled to see at POTUS signing hashtag Music Modernization Act into law today, hashtag stand with songwriters. And one of my sweet friends who is also a recording artist, Kaya Jones, tweeted this. So you all understand what the Music Modernization Act means is every songwriter will be compensated fairly. We as artists make nothing on most of our work, which is why we tour. This is a game changer for all artists and will ignite a fire in the music community we have needed. So this is really exciting progress for the music industry. I searched through Twitter to try to find reactions from, from music people who are Trump critics. I earnestly tried. I used mul multiple different search criteria and couldn't find a single one. No Madonna, no Katy Perry, no Beyonce, no Jay-Z, no Taylor Swift, who ironically just publicized her support for Marsha Blackburn's opponent. The same Marsha Blackburn who helped push this legislation across the finish line. Yes, that one. Not a peep from Taylor Swift. Bunch of hypocrites we have here in Hollywood, y'all, but you already knew that. Oh well, Trump is making music great again anyway with or without their support. Everybody, have a great weekend. I'm Amanda Head, the Hollywood conservative for the rest. 
If you enjoyed my commentary and want to hear more from all of us here at The Rebel, subscribe to our premium content at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter for all of our latest news and download our new app for The Rebel Media on the App Store. That way you will have instant and easy access to all of our latest videos and your favorite Rebel shows. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel.